What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we are rocking out with yet another Mew team for Series 13. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button and join the Jeans community. Before we get started here with today's team preview, I got two things to go over. One, I want to give a huge shout out to the team creator, DK Trading. You did not send me this team, but a fan sent me this team. And I remember you do have a YouTube channel and you do make content as well. So I want to give a huge shout out to you for making this team. I will be leaving a link to all of your socials down in the description below. Second thing I want to go over is I want to give a huge birthday shout out to my boy James. James, happy birthday. You've been a long time viewer on the channel. Just want to wish you happy birthday and hope you're having an amazing day. But with that out the way, let's get started here with today's team preview starting off in that top left corner with the one and only Solgaleo over here. Solgaleo is definitely one of the stronger Pokemon for Series 13 and it is just super, super good all around. It's got full metal body alongside with the weakness policy as its item. It's rocking Sun Seal Strike, Flare Blitz, Y Guard, and Wild Charge for its moveset. Second Pokemon is going to be Calyrex over here. And Calyrex pairs up with Solgaleo really, really well because it has Bulldoze and it can proc that weakness policy at the same time. It's got Astral Barrage, Bulldoze, like we mentioned, Protect, and Trick Room, and then the Focus Hash as its item. Middle left is going to be Mew. And Mew, you don't really get to see too much in Series 13, but it is definitely a very fun Pokemon to use in this series. It's got Synchronize alongside with the Choice Scarf as an item. Then it's got Bulldoze, just like Calyrex, to proc the weakness policy on the Solgaleo. Then it's got Transform, coaching the coach up physical attackers such as Solgaleo or even Zacian. And then last but not least, we got Brick Break for breaking screens. Fourth Pokemon is going to be Zacian over here, and this Zacian is a little bit different than most. It is the Wild Charge Zacian moveset. Everything else is pretty normal. Normal moveset with the Iron Head, Play Rough, and Protect, and the normal uh, item and normal ability for any Zacian. Bottom left hand corner is going to be Yveltal over here, and Yveltal is really good in Dynamax, especially because this one has the Life Orb. It's got Dark Aurora as its ability. That moveset is fairly straightforward with Oblivion Wing, Tailwind, Sucker Punch, and Protect. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be Zara Aura. And Zara Aura, I really do like as a lead because it has E Web, it has Fake Out, so you get Speed Control, you get Fake Out Control. It's just really good all around. Other two moves include Coaching and Plasma Fist, and then Ability and Item is going to be that Shuka Berry and the Volt Absorb ability. Guys, if you want to write this team for yourself, the code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop on that Series 13 ladder and look to get some wins with this Mew team. First match coming at you guys. We're going up against a really strong team right here. This guy is rocking the deer. He has Xerneas alongside with Grimmsnarl, Storm Drain, Gashon, which I'm not really too worried about considering we have no water moves. And then he has Zacian, Groudon, and Charizard. How should we go into this one? How should we play it? I kind of want to go into like the Mew combo. Mew could be good, but if he leaves Groudon and Charizard, that could be a little iffy for us. That could definitely get a little iffy. Let's go Zacian because Zacian can outspeed. I could go Zacian and Belt all year. Zacian does have Wild Charge. Works out really well. I think I'm going to go in with them too. Zacian, Yveltal, roll out with those guys. Bring Calyrex in the back end. And then do we have some fun with this one and bring Mew? Get a little choice, choice Mew out here? I mean, I could lead Mew. Mew's not a bad lead. Mew is definitely not a bad lead. But I feel like we definitely need Tailwind to get out here. We definitely need some speed control. Huh, do I want to bring Mew? Hmm, not really. I think Solgaleo would be the better call. Or even Zero Aura. I mean, I could go Zero Aura as a lead. Wouldn't be too bad. Zero or it could be a lead, but I feel like we just go Sogaleo and then we boost speed with Tailwind and we kind of just go from there. So I'm all about it. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But you guys know the deal. You've been watching my content for a little bit. Before battle number one starts, you guys gotta let me know in the comment section down below for question of the day. What are your guys' thoughts on the series 14 rule set? Obviously, we did not think there was gonna be a new series. We thought series 13 was gonna be finishing up this up, but this is the last season in series 13, which means series 14 is right around the corner. And it's kind of bringing it back to like series 12. So let me know what your guys' thoughts are in the comment section down below. We're just gonna end up going in with these two. And I think screens can be set up. Uh, what else could he do here? Screens. Uh, I could go into a wild charge right off the rip, which I'm really feeling. I could go screens, I could go fake out. They're both tough. Huh. I could protect here. I have a lot of moves to KO a lot of different Pokemon, but I'm still just gonna go straight into a wild charge. And I feel like Tailwind's gotta be your play, right? I mean, he could go in with the Reflect. Reflect turn one would be solid. But there's Dynamax from the Charizard. We know he's going for that fire move right into my Zacian. We know. We know it's coming from my way. The real question is, is he screening or is he faking out my Zacian? We know he's going after my Zacian. I'm hoping he's screening. Hopefully, we get off some big time damage onto this uh, Charizard. And then Tailwind takes speed control and kind of clean up the battle from there. But we'll see what he wants to do here. Is he faking me out? 
just scary face me. So it's just, oh, that's even that's an even better play. Just slow down my Zacian. Can Tailwind go first and bring that back up? Oh yes, sir. It can. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. The Tailwind brings Zacian speed back to normal. He should be able to outspeed here and get off some mean damage. Loving it, loving it. So he's definitely going after Zacian here. We're gonna proc policy. Yo, what is up with Charizard? Rocking weakness policy as recently. It's just absurd. It is just absurd. He's gonna go into the wildfire, right? Yep. And he's gonna take out my Zacian. I'm definitely fine with that turn. He poses a threat. He could definitely max guard this turn, which I can see happening. But the real question is, who do I Dynamax here? I feel like I Dynamax your Beltal. I feel like I Dynamax your Beltal here. Would probably be my best bet, right? Bring out Solgaleo, go into a Sun Seal Strike to take out the Grimmsnarl, and then go from there. I'm kind of about it. I'm all about it. Because I know even with a, uh, even with a scary face here, even the prankster actually wouldn't affect him. And we have, oh my god, prankster can't, or scary face can't affect both of us. That's huge. But Sun Seal Strike should come out here, and then I should just Dynamax him. And do I go into an Airstream, or do I go into a Darkness? Airstream should be able to take out. Airstream should be able to take out here. Considering he is a uh, life orb. I'm all about it. I'm all about it, people. So we're going to Dynamax Yvelto here. And we're going to get rolling. Even though we don't need speed, I just think this is the play right here. I really do think this is the play. Because if we Dynamax... I mean, no. We could have Dynamax what's it called. We could have Dynamax Togaleo. But then I would have had to make a read. Because I kind of do think that this Charizard might max guard. And if he would have max guard, and I would have Dynamaxed the Soul Galeo and went after the uh, the Charizard to take it out, then Yvelta wouldn't have beat him with the KO of the Grimmsnarl. So he does end up max guard, and that's totally fine. So you can set up a screen. Yeah, he sets up a light screen. Um, okay, that's fine. This should take out Grimmsnarl, no problem. But Grimmsnarl is going to go down here. He doesn't have a chance to set up the Reflect, which is huge considering we have uh, Soul Galeo out on the field. And of course, he has to put Beery Berry. Never mind, he's going to set up the Reflect next turn. But Beery Berry coming in hot. A sun Seal Strike coming in hot too. Love me some Sun Seal Strike. Give me a crit. Nope, no crit. No crit coming out there, and Babiri Berry helps him out. So all fire damage is going to chip. Uh hmm. What do I do here? Let's go into a wild charge. Guarantee the KO. Wild charge should be able to KO, right? Actually, wild charge might not be able to KO without the plus one. Do we think Wild Charge KO? I know Sun Seal Strike KOs this. I'm pretty sure Airstream could just pick up the KO easily. Let me see, uh, let me see my Yveltal stats real quick. Let me see your stats, young Yveltal. Yeah, your special attack's higher. So yeah, I, I, I'm almost positive that this, uh, this Airstream should be able to take out the Charizard, no problem. But yeah, he's gonna set up the Reflect here, right? He does not, and... Oh! No! No! That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. We do not KO. I was gonna wild charge into that too. That hurts soul, man. That one definitely hurts the soul. Sun Shield Strike can pop, pop out here. We'll say bye bye to Grimstar. And I wonder who he's KOing here. I do wonder. That hurts, man. Oh, that one hurts the soul, man. I think that would have. That, that's a game changing uh, KO there. That's a game changing KO if we pick up that KO on the Charizard. He's gonna go into Wildfire. He's gonna take out my, my Soul Galeo. That's a game changing KO if we pick up that one. Okay. That's fine. We can deal with it. Is this thing orbed? No, he was a uh, policy. Hmm. Tough news. Real tough news. But we go into our final Pokemon, which is Calyrex. I'm all about the Calyrex. I'm all about it. All about that Calyrex. Silver so Focus Dash right here. We outspeed most. I think we just double down to this right slot, right? Yeah. We coming after you. We going straight after you. No problem. No problem going after you. I don't like where we're sitting, not even gonna lie. Definitely want to boost my speed onto my Pokemon, just for late game purposes. But yeah, I'm all about this, because we know our Calyx is outspeeding everybody. So I'm going to drop this Astro Barrage, and then on top of that, I'm going to drop a Airstream. I'm going to drop an Airstream. We're looking really good in this position right here, because Astro Barrage definitely KOs the Charizard. Both these moves should definitely KO the Xerneas. And then we go plus one onto our uh, Shadow Rider Calyx. But yeah, we're sitting really good here. He's going to end up protecting Charizard. That really does nothing. It really does nothing all around. It really does nothing. Because Airstream's going to fly here. Bop. Doing some nice damage. Oh, and can Astro Barrage take out... Oh, I forgot about the light screen. I forgot about the light screen. This could be tough. Can you get a crit here? 
Can you get a crit here, Kalax? Can you just take out the Xerneas, please? I forgot about the what's it called? I forgot about the light screen. I don't think it's gonna take out. Take him out, please. No, it doesn't, dude. Light screen too good. He's gonna geomance up, and uh, I do have sucker punch. I'm trying to think. Uh, can what's it called outspeed? Can any of my Pokemon outspeed? I mean, Yveltal is plus two. Or is it plus three? No, he guarded one shot. He's plus two. That thing's also plus two. I wonder who's faster overall. Let me cut it close. I do have Sucker Punch if I want to send it. I don't know if Sucker Punch can KO. Close. It's close battle. He's just going to gleam. Um... Go into a bulldoze, maybe try to slow that thing down. No, we have to go into Astro Brash here. This is tough. This is tough. I could go for a Sucker Punch. I mean, Sucker Punch won't pick up a KO, though. Oblivion Wing might. I'm gonna go straight into Oblivion Wing here. We do have the Life Orb. Can you outspeed? He's gonna end up withdrawing the Charizard, which is totally fine. Charizard gets the withdrawal, and he's gonna bring out Sassy in here, which I don't think gets a play at all. That's just a weird swap. That is just a weird swap. But we outspeed. Oh, my Calyrex outspeeds. That means my Yveltal should be able to outspeed. That's big time. That's big time. Can you outspeed Yveltal? Yes, you can. Let's go. That's big time. Both of my Pokemon are outspeeding that plus two uh, Xerneas. That's big time plays. And that pretty much set us up in a great position here. A really solid position. Actually, I don't know because this Zassian can soak up some shots. The screen is really helping him out. The screen is really helping him out. Okay, uh, what do we do from here? I mean, simply just drop Astro Barrage, right? And I wonder who he's going to try to KO here, because obviously Astro Barrage for the KO would be the play. We do this. And then we just Oblivion Wing? Mmm. Sucker Punch? Mmm. <laughs> this is no good. I mean, Sucker Punch might, might do more damage than Oblivion Wing. I'm not even going to lie. I mean, but I do need this plus one. I do definitely need this plus one. I don't know who he's going to take out. I think he's going to try to take out my Shadow Rider. He protects the Charizard. That's totally fine. I've kind of seen that happening. Well, this battle is so good. Sucker Punch is going to fly through it. How much damage are we really doing? It's not bad. That's not bad. It's not bad damage. Astro Bosch is going to poke out here. Can we get a crit? We need a crit. We need something to take this thing out. Because if he takes out my Calyx, I'm kind of kind of sitting in a poor spot here. Oh, who are you going after? Behemoth Blade, that's going after Calyx. Calyx is dead. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. Eat this up somehow. Tough, tough news. Okay. Is there any way we can win this match? Any way we can win this match? Lich Queen's gone. I don't think we can eat up a shot from any of these guys. That's my problem. That is my problem here. I mean, I feel like our best bet would be... Could we soak up a shot from this Charizard? I don't think we can. I mean, that would be our best bet. We gotta go into Sucker Punch and Zassian. Take this thing out, please. And thank you. Cool. Can we eat up a shot somehow? Maybe? Hopefully? Come on! What's he going for? Heat Wave, maybe? Oh, dude, the Life Orb bringing me down. Blast Burn. Blast Burn. I was like, maybe we can eat up a Heat Wave. Blast burn, no shot. That move does too much damage. This guy gets a crit. I've been looking for a crit all game long. All game long, and this guy gets it. But yo, GG's. That ledge screen definitely helped him out tremendously. Second battle coming at you guys, and we're going up against a crazy cool off meta team right here. I feel bad using all these mythicals and legendaries right now, but it be like that sometimes. It be like that sometimes. I feel like that's all I have to say for this one. But such a cool team. I feel like I used a similar team back in like Series 8. With the Togekiss, the uh, the Raladon, the Mudsdale, the Glade. Really cool team. Hopefully, this guy beats me, but I don't really see it happening. <laughs> I really don't see it happening. I'm going to go into Solgaleo just in case he wants to pop a Trick Room here with maybe Mimikyu. It could definitely be an option, but I think I just lead Zero Aura here. Zero Aura is really good. We can kind of roll out strong with him, so I'm going to roll out with him. 
I have the Plasma Fist, I have the Coaching, I have a lot of different things we can do. So I'm going to go Zebra Aura, and then I am also going to bring Calyrex. Yeah, I like Calyrex, and I really like Zacian here. Zacian, bum, 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 and then Cali Cali, right? Cali Cali. Cali's to play all day. That rhyme too. Cali's to play all day. You, if you don't know what, what Pokemon to pick on your team and you have Calyrex on your team, just remember the saying, Cali's to play all day. Just too strong. It's just too strong. Even Ice Rider Calyrex. Dude, they're like both OP, but in different things. Like Trick Room, that one. Non-Trick Room, that one. So they're both the same, just speed speed's different. He's going to end up going into these two. Um, do we think this thing's rocking steadfast? But I want to fake it out. I really do want to fake it out, but there's a high chance it's rocking steadfast. But I'm going to say it's not. I'm going to say it's a justified one. So I'm going to fake it out, and I'm going to give him the little clap skis. But I'm just going to Sunshield Strike right through this Mimikyu. Right on through this Mimikyu. Because uh, Sunshield Strike goes through ability, so it's really good for just taking out Mimikyu's. But he's going to end up with withdrawing Mimikyu. How dare you? You withdraw your Mimikyu. I could have coached. I could have coached. And he protects. All right, I'm coaching next turn. I'm getting after you guys. You guys want to play games with me? I'm going to start coaching, getting that defense boost, and having this Mudsdale probably proc my weakness policy. The Sunshield Strike flying out here. We'll chip up a little bit of damage. We'll get a little chippy damage here. A little chippy damage. Little chippy damage. A lot of chippy damage. This thing gets stamina boosted, though. I hate this game. <laughs> Defense gets boosted. I feel like we just coach up and steal spike through this thing. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. Let's do it. I'm all about it. But yeah, this battle's looking pretty good for us. I, I hate I hate using the legendaries and mythicals up against non-legendaries and mythicals, but right now that's the season. Season is use them all, and you're not gonna be you're not gonna be pushing high ranks if you're not using them. But yeah, that's why I can't wait for uh, Scarlet and Violet to come out, man. Just the, just the OG like nothing was more fun in Sword and Shield than the first couple seasons of Sword and Shield rank battles. Like I was playing singles, I was playing doubles, I was using all different types of Pokemon, no legendaries. It was just awesome because the team. Uh, Variety was just insane. It was just insane. Just so many different cool Pokemon. You never knew what you were going up against. It wasn't like a like a, a set meta. Like there was like a few Pokemon that were stronger than the other, but there wasn't just like, okay, everybody's using this team. Everyone's using this team. Everyone's using this team. Like this one's like everybody's using this team and this team only. <laughs> and you're like, come on, man. Change it up. But it'd be like that. It'd be like that. We coach up here. We're going to end up getting a defense boost, which is gorgeous, which is lovely. And should take him out, right? Yes. See you later, Gallade. See you later. So we take out Gallade. We got a big time defense boost. I think that this Mudsdale is going to hit me with like a high horsepower or something. Crack my weakness policy, and that's where I pretty much just take this battle away. Yep, there's high horsepower. And yeah. This is where Jeans gets up and he just starts running away with this battle. Battle's gone. Be gone. Because I know Mudsdale is now speeding me. I'm really not worried about him considering the defensive boost that I'm getting. From the coaching and from the steel spikes. And Mimi Mims gonna come back out here. Hello, Mimi Mims. How are you doing, Mimi Mims? I shall kill you now, Mimi Mims. <laughs> Mimi Mims is dead. We're gonna kill Mimi Mims with, uh, I guess he web. I mean, Plasma Fist looks way cooler. I'm gonna go Plasma Fist. This looks way cooler. We might Dynamax Mimi Mims. But yeah, it is over with. I'm plus three on attack and I'm plus two on defense. I think we're I think we're thriving here. Plasma Fist can come out here. I say bye bye to your weakness policy. Well, not weakness policy. You were uh, disguised, and then I'm just gonna come in hot with this seal spike and take him out. But yo, that move looks so sick. Plasma Fist approved. Animation approved. Something I can't wait for uh, Scarlet and Violet too is going to be the graphics and just like the animations in that because like something I really notice is when you terrestrialize that new feature the what is it the stone or the gem that's on your head looks gorgeous like it is shining perfectly the graphics look great for it like that just that just gave me a lot of hope for the graphics for the game so he's gonna end up high horse powering my server aura but i got shukaberry rocking shukaberry baby and we soaked that up all day all day shukaberry coming in clutch plus four plus one on defense so that gives us a nice little bulk as well but i'm not worried about this guy he's gonna bring out the raladon he's gonna bring out that raladon and I feel like at this point, uh, just flare him up. Give him the yield flare skis. And I coach up again. 
and I coach up again, getting another attack boost. We're going to go plus four. And this guy just canceled battle. So battle number two goes to us. We're going to hop into our third and final battle. And we're going to look for that winning record. Final battle coming at you guys. We knew we were going to win that last battle, and we swept that second battle. But we're looking for a winning record here. We're going up against a really cool team that features Terrakion, Zacian, Whimsicott, Yabelta, Incineroar, and Kyogre. How should I play this one? How should I play it? I could go in with Zara Aura. Zara Aura isn't too bad, but Intimidate could do me dirty. So I kind of feel like leading him like maybe like Solgaleo. And even maybe still Zara Aura. I don't think Zara Aura is bad here. It has fake out like an Alice Speed and Sonora. I know it's physical attacking, but it has coaching on it. And I really do like this Pokemon. So I'm going to end up leading him. They're like, and it has fake out on top of that. So I feel like we get a lot of value out of him. I'm going to go in with them too. I am going to bring Zassian because, you know, Zassian's that guy. And then Kalarx's going to be a final Pokemon. It's got to be your play. It's got to be the play. Let's do it. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's, let's grab ourselves a win here in battle number three. And grab ourselves a winning record overall. Overall, a winning record, which would be gorgeous. Which would be gorgeous. Let's do it. Let's do it. But I wonder who this guy's going to lead. Probably Incineroar, right? Incineroar makes a lot of sense. We have a few physical attackers on the team. Pretty much split, isn't it? I think it's split, physical and special. But no, he's going to go for the beat up. Justify Teraki on here. And... I think I just coach, right? Do I coach, go for defense boost, and go after this Wimscott? I mean, what do I do? I mean, I can fake out the Wimscott all day. If he wants to go for beat up, I think we just... we Dynamax here? I think we Dynamax and fake out. That's yeah, gotta be a play. I hope this Wimscott doesn't protect. I'm gonna Dynamax here. Getting after it. I think that this one's guy is going to be the protect, but should have went for a different play. I should have just coached when after track and made the hard read. But again, if I didn't, then we would have been sitting tough because he could just beat it up and then roll off from there. So let's see how this one plays out here. Is he going to Dynamax? He's not. There's the protect. Oh, wait. Hold up. Wait a minute. Oh, thank you. GG's. Good game. That's game over. You protected Terrakion? Big mistake. Big mistake, yo. Big mistake. Get this thing all out of here. That's huge. We get rid of his support. Whimsicott. Terrakion's not going to do much. We get the defense boost for his physical attackers. And he turns off the console. And he turns off the console. That is huge. We love it. That is a winning record for you guys for today's video. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, 2-1 for today's video, a beautiful winning record, but a rather shorter video on my side of the channel, because no, battle number two and battle number three were rather short. We kind of just swept out battle number two, and then battle number three was obviously a one-turn game. But hopefully you guys still did enjoy. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to leave a like on today's video, and if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positive video today. Catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.